Hello everyone, Exidra here bringing you episode 19 of Mystical Block, a mod pack by Monaco is cool. Well, very long time lapse. Filling these four experienced canister took forever. It was honestly borderline nightmarish. So I'm going to just put these in here for now. And what I'm going to do right now is just get started on Botania ASAP. And then once we have, we're waiting for mana to flow in, we're going to make these uh, seeds because today, like I just want to get started on Batania ASAP. Batania is going to be done right here. Uh, so let me grab some grass, grass like so. And let me grab this back and we're just going to expand this. This is going to be our Batania. You know what? Let's go like this. This is going to be our Batania area grass again and let's continue uh yeah that's gonna be it that's gonna be enough for now that should be more than enough to work with so let's get rid of a couple of nanimals and you know what you're going to be noisy i don't want to hear any of these animals while i'm recording this episode let's get rid of you and where's the little tiny oh he's right here i'm like where's the rabbit no more rabbit perfect okay so let's get rid of this let's go in here and grab all of this so that we can stay as clean as possible take that and put that over there and let's put that into our storage that's either going to emc stuff or use it and voila okay so batania well you know what let's go by the quest line because there's a quest line for batania where first we need to make a petal apothecary so let's start with that uh let's search over here petal apothecary so we're going to need some cobblestone slab like so and then we're going to need something with any batania flower or hmm okay let's come right here and say mystical oh stupid f11 we do have some mystical flower we have billions of mystical flower what's the problem here oh because it wants petal okay so let's grab you know what mystical Let's grab a stack of this and we're just going to make this stack into white petals and we're going to go back in here, put those right there and voila. So one is going to give us a petal apothecary, which we're going to set uh, right here. Okay, then we're going to need a water bucket like so, but let's just follow the quest line. Okay, so we want to make pure daisies. So pure daisies are four white flowers and water buckets. So water, and then we're going to say seeds. Perfect, like so, and let's get started. So water, one, two, three, four. Water, one, two, three, four, and voila. So now we have our two flowers right here are two pure daisies. I'm gonna put one here and one here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to grab some oak, 64 oak log, and then some stones, 64 stones, and voila. So now we can go all around this. It's going to transform the oak log into living wood and the stone around is going to transform into living rock right here living wood doesn't say anything but it's made from oak and well from any wood i believe and living rock is made from, from made from stone and then the next quest is endo flame this takes coal or coal block put this around the water you made next to the mana spreader put this around the water you made huh Wait, okay I don't know why it's saying water because don't need water at all. So for the endo flame, let's search at the endo flame recipe. Endo flames are made out of 
brown, red, and gray. Light gray, sorry. So, mystical. Brown, red, and light gray. Perfect. We're going to just transform those into petals. And then we're just going to throw them back like so. Then we're going to need some seeds. Um, I think I'm only going to make the 12 for now. And you know what? I'm going to grab some water buckets and I'm going to make an infinite source of water because it is going to make things a bit easier. I'm just going to go this, 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 and I'm going to go water here, water there. And then we're going to grab some bricks right here. And I'm going to go under for a second. I said, un oh, God, please fall. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> when you don't want to fall through the hole, like you always fall through water until you want to, and then you never fall. So I'm just going to do this. And that's going to be our infinite water source so that we never have to waste time getting water again. Perfect. Okay, so one cute thing that you need to know about Batania, okay? The recipe is two brown, one gray, one red. So two brown, one gray. Okay, so I'm ready now. Brown, brown, gray, red. So take water, put it here, and then if you shift right click with an empty end, you get the next one. So that's two. Oh, you... I hate this stupid shit. Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't be saying bad words. It's just, like, for whatever reason, it's giving me the next bucket when I grab water. So that's going to be three. Oh, of course, they're going in here. You know what? I'm going to turn this off for now because I want these flowers... Oh, it's four to be in here. Perfect. So one, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm at eleven. I, I guess I don't know how to count. Twelve, thirteen. Oh. Okay, I, I guess I'm making more. I'm going to make 16 just because it's a better number. Yeah, that was all on purpose, guys. I wanted to go for the nicer number. Not really. Okay, so that's done. Let's grab back those tools because this we can, uh, this we can vein mine with a Matic. And this we can vein mine with a pickaxe. And we can start our these EMCable new. So whatever we do, we're going to have to produce how many we need of those, we're going to have to make them manually. Hopefully we won't have a lot to do. My goal is to try and finish Batania in one episode. Don't know if it's realistic, but I want to try and do it. So let's just grab this and let's check the next quest. So next quest is we need a mana pool. I'm going to need four mana pool. So right here, mana pool, like so. So that's going to be one only for now. So the mana pool is going to go right here and there's going to be another one here, another one here and another one here, which means we can start our endo flame pattern right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I'm going to put the coal right here, I believe. So it's going to be here. Oh, sorry. This, 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 and this like so and right here okay so i have a very simple coal setup that i do every time i use endo flame in every episode because this is something that you repeat so often that i just found a way that worked for me and i just keep making the same thing so first we're going to need a pressure plate so that's going to be oak logs that's going to give me a pressure plate and I'm going to want a pressure plate 
right here. So that's where the coal is going to fall. Then I'm going to want some redstone. Redstone. Like so. Oh, that's way too much redstone, but okay. And if I remember correctly, it needs to go on the other side because you want it to continue. So I'm going to have to put this flower maybe here. I think it should be in range. I'm not sure. We'll see in a moment. Then I'm going to need a hapa. Like so. And then we're going to need an open crate. So open crate. Open crate is basically a crate that you can put things in and it's going to drop them. Um, I need some living wood planks. So one, two. Let's just do that twice. And then I can go like this and make the open crate. Okay, so the open crate goes right here on top of the um, this the switch. And then this goes here. And now we can go and grab some charcoal. I'm going to grab a two charcoal block for now. Nah, well, half a stack of charcoal block. And I'm going to put it in here. So now, see, now that it's live, it's not dropping a second one because this right here is not like it the uh, sorry the redstone is stopping the hopper from dropping the next one but none of the endo flame are picking the charcoal but uh, is this one of okay one second i two possibilities so these flowers are not producing mana and i believe they're not producing mana right now just because they don't have anywhere to send it so we're going to just make some more of these living wood and living rock. And we're going to look at the quest. And now it says we need a wand of the forest, which is three twigs. So living wood. Okay, like this. So two, three. So that's going to be one, two, three twigs. And we're going to use the red because I like the red. Perfect. And so now that we have this, we can see, oh, I think it's not working because it's not binded to anything. If we go to the quest line, the next thing that it wants us to make is mana spreader. Use the one of the forest to point the mana spreader to the mana pool. Surround this mana spreader with water. Why does it say with water? Uh, that does not compute, nor does it make sense. Gold. So gold right here. And then I'm going to go like this and a petal yes so that's going to be one and i want a second one so that's going to be two and i'm going to get the petal back so we're going to put one on top of this oh gravity greaves why well, won't it just yeah that's what i wanted okay so let's grab this back and then let's just put one on top of here. Great. And now we can bind stuff. So we're going to say this is bound to this. This. Oh, perfect. That's why they weren't working. This is bound to this. Bound to this. Bound to this. And... Usually when you put a mana spreader, they should have technically all bound to the mana spreader, but it's not working right now. Don't know why. So let's just bang, bind all of these things. Okay, these are all bound. And voila. So technically now both are producing mana. And now we're going to see if our little cheaty solution, like the thing that we cheat for everything the pedestal we're going to see if that's going to make us more mana faster so pedestal right here and a watch of flowing time right here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that right here is this working is this producing faster Oh, okay, so the endo flame are producing faster, but the mana spreader are not emptying faster. So that's kind of interesting. So basically this is like not going fast enough. Well, 
Okay, let me just stop that to see. Well, that's kind of sad because it means things are not going to go quite as fast as I wanted. Although, you know what? I feel like it's just different values. Here's what I'm imagining is going wrong right now. I think that in most of the other mod pack I've played, a mana spreader would work for like eight or nine endo flames. And right now, so see, this one is still not empty. Like I feel like the mana spreader can only do one or two at a time. Okay, so let's just leave that alone and let's continue with the quest line. See how far we can get for now. We're going to grab all of this and I'm just going to make sure that I'm continuously making this. Not, It's not like I'm going to need a crazy amount, but I need some to be able to do the basic work. So let's just look at what's the next quest. So next quest, it wants us to make a mana diamond. Super easy. Grab a diamond. The oh, Diamante right here. And we're going to throw the diamond in here. And we have a mana diamond. Now, Runic Altar is mana diamond with five living rock. So let's just make that right now. Although we can already make a couple of other, other things. So let's just put that right here. And we'll go with some living rock like this. Like this. We've got a runic altar and we should be good. Let me just check that quickly. Sorry, I'm checking my list of things to do just to make sure that I don't forget something important. Okay, so that's the runic altar. Honestly, uh, gonna put it here. And we're going to need another mana spreader. So this like so, and this one right here. And then we need some gold gold right here that's going to be another mana spreader and i'm going to put that nope not there and i'm going to put that right here and then i'm going to configure with the one this to send there oh my god stupid notification don't don't know what's going on Okay, hopefully they're going to leave me alone. So this is done. Yeah, I wanted to show my tool. That was exactly what I was trying to do. Uh, let's, grab, let's grab this and let's grab that and let's set up the next ones. Uh, I'm going to be one stone short. Oh God, and one wood short. Well, no, wood's not a problem. You can always get wood back. The problem is that this you get. Oh yes, I have uh, silk touch. Okay, so this is done, this is done, this is done. Ooh, the mana pool gave me a black lotus. A blacker, uh, no, a black lotus. So basically, black lotus just generates mana. Now, now, let me look at the quest line. Loot reward, four blacker lotus, 6%, one blacker lotus, fifth, one black lotus. Okay, so we got one black lotus, 62%. We got the lamest reward we could from that. Anyway, doesn't matter. So now we're all good with this and we can start making other stuff. So if I come right here and I grab some iron, I'm going to grab four iron, two, three, four, and I'm going to take these four irons and I'm gonna throw them in here to get four mana steel. And the four mana steel are, of course, going to become our next seed. So mana steel needs tertium essence. So one, two, three, four. Let's grab some tertium. Tertium essence. Oh, we've got plenty. One, two, three, four. Throw that back in. And we're going to need one prosperity seed. And you know what? Since we're making seed, I believe this is the right time to make the shulker and the uh, experience seed. So let's grab these four shulker sol sol soldier. One, two, three, four. And we're going to just write shulker seeds right here to see what it is. Shulker seed is uh, the prudentium. Hey, I, I swear, just give me a second. Um,
Okay, so hopefully that should be done now. Okay, so what's the next thing that I need to do? Oh, the the prudential. Uh, no, the supremium. No. Oh, for crying out loud. What is it called? Imperium. It's the only one that I never, ever remember, it seems. So let's just grab that and go one, two, three, four. And I need a solium seed for that. And for the XP canister. <laughs> and of course, I missed the mute button. Great. This is going to be the episode of weird noises coming from wherever. I'm really sorry, guys. Put that there. And let's grab these experience capsule like so. And then let's put the Imperium like so. And that's going to be the last seed. Okay. So now that we have these four seeds, we can come right back here and set them up in the next flower. So one, two, three. Oh. One, two two and three we're going to have to set that those up in their own um their own oh wow that's a lot of ani seed let's put those right there and if i come back here okay so here's what's going on these are not accelerated because they're too far from this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab these two things or not i'm just going to throw everything overboard put that over here grab another watch of flowing time and put that one on top right here and start this yeah perfect so now things are working faster so if i come back here i should have yeah shulker essence experience essence mana steel essence mana steel seed so I'll put the mana steel seed right here. I'll put the uh, these essence right there. And now I've got shulker seeds. So the only seeds that we haven't duplicated right now are the XP seed, I believe. And still nothing. Okay, no worries. Let's just continue. We've got everything in hand. In good hand, I mean. I bent. Okay, so if I come here, that's all of these. The three C's are made. Now we need to make some runes. And these runes are kind of annoying, to be honest. But, like I said, we're going to power through Botania as fast as possible. And because we have, like, infinite stuff, it shouldn't be that bad. So let's come right over here and look for runes. So we're going to need a rune of spring. A rune of summer a rune of autumn and a rune of winter okay for these rune we're going to need rune of earth rune of water rune of fire and rune of earth oh water okay where's the water one air one sorry did it overwrite again? One, two, three, four, one. Okay, now we have them all. So rune of air, it's always going to be mana steel, mana powder. Mana powder is basically any die in a pool. So let's grab these. We're going to make one, two, three, four runes. So we're going to need four of those. And then we're going to need some uh, mana steel. Already 448. Oh God, it makes five at a time. So yeah, that's going to make it easier. Okay, so we got this one. Oh, no, one, two, one. What does the rune of water need? Bone meal, sugar cane, fishing rod. So bone meal, sugar cane should also be easy. Sugar cane and fishing rod. I don't know if we have a fishing rod. No. So we're going to have to craft a fishing rod. That should also be easy. 
And since it's EMCable, we're just going to teach our system how to make it like this. And so now we can go. Oh, you really did not go on. Okay, so this should now be working. Hello. Oh, it's only one Man of Steel ingot. Oh, darn it. That's going to be hard because you have to remove everything in order. Okay, so that's done. Let's start again. Show this, show that. And now it's working. You need to throw a living rock on top. And then once the transformation's over, you can just hit it. Oh, the transformation's not over. It's not that long. You're, technically, that's where you prepare for the next one, though. So I kind of made a tiny mistake with that. Okay, so the next one is fire. We need nether brick, gunpowder, nether wart. Nether brick. Nether wart and gunpowder. No, not fun powder, although that would be fun. Uh, gun. Perfect. Don't know why this, this is so weird. Okay, so now we can make the next one. This, this, this one, this one, and the gunpowder. And the living rock. And while we're waiting for this, we'll check the next one for the rune of earth. It's going to be stone, coal, mushroom. Stone, coal, mushroom. So a block of coal. A mushroom. And another stone. We have stone on us, but I'm going to keep it to make the uh, other. Oh, come on. Give me. Perfect. So this one's done. Let's just grab this next one. And we can go one. Oh, one and one. Then these three things. Stone, brown mushroom, block of coal, living rock. And while we're waiting for this, we'll just go and grab the next ones. So grab this and grab the living rock. And then make more living wood. We're probably... Like, I'm not going to over make, I'm not going to make a setup because I really intend to do the minimum I can with Batania. Let's grab this. Perfect. And the last one is air, which is a carpet, a feather, and a string. So, fe oh, feather, string. And I think we should have red carpets because we've done carpets for the se uh, for the seeds, yeah. So right here, this, 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 and then these two. Oh, perfect! I was just missing that thing. So let's put that and perfect. So now we're going to be able to make the other. So first the rune of summer. It's going to be two sand, a slime ball, and a melon slice. So let's just grab that. Sand. And it said red sand, but either sand is okay. So two red sand, a melon slice, and a slime ball. Slime ball right here. Perfect. Let's pop that out. So it's one. Ah, uh, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So right clicking sometimes work. Sometimes it just do what it did right now. Really? Perfect. And now we just need to check which one it was. So it was, the, oh, I was checking the, which one? I was checking the, which rune of, no. Rune of Autumn, no. Oh my God, which one? Summer, perfect. So air and earth. So air and earth. Like so. And now we can click this and we can start checking for the next one. So spring is going to be three sapling and a wheat. So wheat. 
and three sapling of any. One, two, three. Perfect. And this should not consume the uh, the air and earth ones. Usually that's what it does. Yeah, it didn't consume them. Perfect. So now I can go one, two, three. And the wheat. And we can check what's the other one. So for spring, it's water and fire. So nope, not air. It's water and fire. Perfect. Put that on and we can already check the next one. The next one's going to be autumn. Uh, three leaves and a spider eye. So right here, spider eye and leaves and leaves. Same thing. Do not right click place them. Throw them because if you place them, you're probably going to break them. So now we can drop this and we're just waiting. Our mana is really going down, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Charcoal blocks. That's why. So let's come right here. Charcoal blocks. Perfect. Sorry. So we stopped our mana production, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. One, two, three, one. And then I need to check what are they? Fire and air. So air, fire. Then we need a living rock and we're now on the final one, which is winter Two snow, a wool and a cake snow Two snow a wool And a cake Ah, oh, EMC makes everything so much easier. It's like technically this is the thing that takes long because you need to go collect or make all of these things. But because we have EMC now, this is just like much easier and faster. So this and winter is going to be water and earth. So water and earth. And this. And let's go make our next bunch. Nope. Grab this and this. Probably going to grab another 64. Like I said, I don't know. I'm going to continue with the rule that I'm waiting anyway. So since I'm waiting, it's a good use of my time to do more of this. This is almost done. So the next thing that it's going to want us to make is a clock. I think we've made clock before, so that's all good. But the reason for that is we're going to make time in a bottle, which is going to give us chance of black or blacker Lotus. And the time in a bottle is all of the, uh, uh, not autumn, all of the, uh, seasons plus a clock that might be useful to accelerate things. But since we have the pedestal, it's not going to be quite as useful as it could have been. Okay, so now that this is done, put this one and then put this one and this one and these we're going to lose. All of these are unfortunately going to be used, but it's not the end of the world. We're going to have progress and done this, so I'm going to be happy with that. Then we're going to have to work on the terrestrial agglomeration plate, which is going to use one of each and a rune of mana. So it's five and a mana pearl. So let's do that while we wait ender pearl right here so throw this in the mana pool perfect and then we're going to need all of these so it's going to be five yeah five and an ender pearl let's just wait for the time in a bottle to be finished Oh, it gave all of them back. Oh, I'm shocked, but okay. One, two, three, four, five, one, put that. And that's going to give us a rune of mana. But for the agglomeration plate, we're going to lose those because we're going to be crafting with them, not using the runic altar. One other very important rule when you're doing the... Um, when you're using the uh, the agglomeration plate, 
you need to use um, sparks. So I don't want to go into too much detail about that. So let's grab all of these things right here. And let's just go look at agglomeration plate, agglomeration plate. So the agglomeration plate needs to be placed. So it's going to be living rock, living rock, living rock, living rock. And there's a living rock in the middle and four like this. So it's going to be one, two, going to be like this no that's not what it is yeah let's give me a second grab that back and we're going to put a living rock grab that back and a living rock perfect and you know what now I'm going to put some brick around because if I throw things on this I don't want to lose them let's just do like so and just make a little surrounding. Perfect, so that's done. So that should also be done, great. And now we should be able to craft the agglomeration plate. Oh, um, show all of that in there and all of that. I'm just going to get rid of things that I don't need anymore. Perfect, so now I can do this right here and now I should be able to say make an agglomeration plate like so. Perfect. We're gonna plop this down in the middle and now we need to send mana to this. But like I just said, this mana spreader is way too slow. So what you want to do usually is make some sparks. It's not teaching us to make sparks, but sparks are the only thing that goes fast enough. So we're going to make two of these spark like so we're gonna put one up here and one up here and they should be already bound by oh no that's how you pop them out you don't need to bind them I think that they're automatically bound uh, let me just check on my charcoal and grab a couple of blocks and you know what I should just buy an EMC link and then I'm going to need a pipe. Nope, I guess not. I guess the pipes are something I'm going to have to grab from here. So a pipe and an ultimate pipe upgrade, which is way too strong, but it doesn't matter right now. Oh, the greaves again. So like this and like this. Now we're going to click the charcoal block on it and then we're going to need a wrench and we're going to finish that setup because I don't want to run out again like this this needs to always work so already full of charcoal and we never have to worry about this setup again now it should just constantly be crap making ma uh, preparing mana okay so the way this works is if we go back here now that we have a terrestri terrestrial agglomeration plate let's grab this reward and of course it's another black lotus no way to craft them let me just search for lotus is there any craftable recipe black or lotus nope okay so we won't be able to do that so now we need to wait to have at least half a mana pool because if i come right here and i say terra steel okay so a terra steel ingot is made on an aglo oh a full ma <sighs> yes i totally despise you this is way too much uh are these <gasps> these are emcable grab this teach this to our system and now and do flame let's grab this perfect so now i can put that right here and I'll put one right here, right here, right here. Great. And I'll place some right here. Okay. Now I'll need another mana spreader. I'm just going to try and accelerate things. I'm going to need two more mana spreader, two more gold. 
two more petals. So this, and now I need some petals like this. And one, two, perfect. And can I redirect this to here? Perfect, this is all bound. You know what? I'm going to bind this one. So that's five. And then I'm going to come right here. And I don't know if this one will work. I think it might be interfered with. Let's just try it. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so we're going to remove this right here for one moment. Put that right there. Okay, so this one's working now. Bind this to this. Bind this to this. Bind this to this. No, bind you to this one. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one. And I'm going to put this one on top of this right here. Hmm. Will that work? Maybe here? Can these three connect to this? And can this go to there? It's not emptying, so probably not. So that's one of the problem with these setup is that you need to... No, there is space. So what about this one is emptying, this one's emptying, this one is not emptying. Okay, let me just make another thing. Uh, if I go in at Botania, you can make something to share across um, Mana Pool. You never remember the name. Mana Splitter. Perfect. So let's make a Mana Splitter. And if I put the Mana Splitter here, I believe that the way this works is that if it only has one place to put the mana, it's going to put it in that pool. But if you have multiple pool, it's just going to put them in the other pool. So let's just go like this and like this. It's going to give me two more mana pool. And if I do this and this, now I can redirect. I can redirect to this. Direct to this, and now I'm getting mana in all of them. But this one's still not emptying. Is it? Okay, maybe it's just that it's not that it's not emptying. It's just that it has so much mana in it that it's uh, not emptying. So this one, this one is not grabbing any. Um, okay, so this one and this one are not grabbing any charcoal. So these are useless. This one is grabbing charcoal. Okay, I'm going to make more sparks. Oh, I'm going to dupe the sparks. Okay, so now if I say spark, one, two, and basically you can put sparks on all of the mana pool, like so, and they will all share their power. For the Terra Steel, we only really need to make four because then we're going to make the seed, see? Once we get four, we're going to make a seed and then we'll have infinite. And to make the four, we're still going to need four mana pearl, four mana diamonds. So, ender pearl. One, two, three, four diamonds. Di oh, diamonds. One, two, three, four. And now, if I look at all of these mana pool, yeah, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so technically, we have all of this ready. And I just want to check. Oh, there's so little mana. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to put one of each, and I'm just going to see if it's working. It's using the mana and it's going because I think it might not take a whole mana pool. I'm not sure though. Come on.
And so I've done the worst thing possible. Basically, I'm burning my mana for no reason. Because if you don't have enough mana, that's what happens. And I've just wasted my whole life energy. And I've wasted my two Blacker Lotus. Okay, so Kekimorus. How do you make the Kekimorus again? So it's a Rune of Gluttony, which is Winter Fire 2 Mana Diamond. Winter and Fire. So let's see. Do I have a... No, I, not here. I do have. So if I say Rune, Winter and... Sorry, Winter and Fire. This one can never run out of mana. I, meaning that it will not, like, it would just grab mana and it will never progress backward. It will never lose its progress like this one. These will, but not, uh, sorry, the agglomeration plate will, but not that. Why were you no longer bound? There are better mana spreaders that you can make, but at this point, I don't think that I have anything to make the better mana spreader. So we're just going to have to go like that for now. Let's just grab some grass. Grass, grass, grass. And what I'm going to do is a weird setup, but I'm gonna go on top right right here put a grass right here put a grass right there perfect is the rune of gluttony ready almost and we didn't lose oh that's really good so now the rune of gluttony and two orange two brown oh no i need pixie dust darn it I don't have pixie dust. So at this point, I think I'm in a bad place where I just need to wait to have more mana. That's all it is. These mana pools are just going to fill over time. They're go going to take a long time, but they're going to end up by filling at some point. So what I think I'm going to do, let me just check my episode time, is yeah. I thought I could get Batania done in one episode. I thought that the Black Lotus would just give me a ton of mana. And I also hope that this um, uh, pedestal would work. So what I'm going to do right now is... I'm unfortunately going to need to be a bit spammy. So what I'm going to change is... I'm going to augment the setup. I'm going to put a second layer above... And in the second layer above, like, because you can go from mana spreader to mana spreader, by the way. So you can take a mana spreader and redirect it to another mana spreader. See how this, these are all full? Like, these are just not um, emptying fast enough. Just give me a second. Add Botania. There are lens. So what are the lens again? Mana lens, tripwire, nope. So there are lens for... I think it's... Is it Velocity, Potency, Resistance, Efficiency? I think the one for Velocity just makes things go faster. So Matt, let's try and make a Mana Lens. One, two, three, four, and some glass. One, perfect. So this with a Rune of Air. I believe it's going to use the Rune of Air, but again, I'm not 100% sure think so because it's crafting so let's just do this and this that's going to give me a velocity lens and if i put it on this right here it's still not emptying fast enough wow okay so let me just get give me two seconds i'm gonna go right here and check velocity lens botania did i make the right one it doubles the speed of mana burst it fires, but each burst old 25% less mana and start to decay after 8 block. So, yeah, it, it is providing more mana. 
So if I'm looking at these mana pool, they're just they should technically be filling faster. But let's just be honest and say that faster is re relative because faster might still not be super fast. So let's just do this and make three more velocity lens. So now I'm going to need more rune of air. The rune of air are done with uh, carpet. Perfect. Okay, so gunpowder. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Now we're going to need carpet. One, two, three. We're going to need feather. One, two, three. We're going to need string. One, two, three. Like, I'm losing a little bit of mana, but if it goes so much faster, I feel that I'm going to be in a place where it's not going to matter quite as much. So, see, this one is still never emptying. So, even though it's going a lot faster, it's still not emptying, which means it's not a problem. And like I said, what I'm going to do most assuredly is going to time lapse and I'm just going to spam the mana generation because we need a lot of mana. Basically, we need enough mana to make three ter four Terra Steel ingot to make the Terra Steel seed and four Elementium, which means an Elven Gateway. So Elven Gateway is... I don't think it's part of the quest, but... Uh, so yes sorry it is part of the quest just not directly what i mean by that is here it wants us to make an elven gateway core probably to be able to craft these if i look at this terra steel helmet nope this terra steel helmet would not require will the this uh, neither so i don't know why it wants us to make the elven gateway to be honest gaia spirit ingot nope is the guy oh we're going to need some of those for the ooh, everlasting guilty pool wait i need one two oh well no <laughs> i was going to say i need so much terra steel to get to that that it's not from that point on we're not no longer going to be requiring that at all okay so sad days sad days it is but it is what it is let's remove these two let's do the last one although Right now, this is way more than I'm going to need. So let's do this. One, two, and three. We're going to throw the rest in the system. But now I can put this one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. So now, technically, we're setting twice as fast and losing a little bit. Yeah, this is coming in much easier now. So if I come back here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a fourth mana pool. Like so. And I'm going to put that right here just to make sure that I can fill as much as I can. So none of these are emptying. So this is kind of going well. Just not as fast as I wished it had. So let's do this right here and those and we can then get rid of those um oh i should have kept the oh well i should have kept the endo flame because the endo flame is going to be part of the setup i'm going to augment okay so now we're generating mana and if i look here see i don't even have enough to make another um agglomeration uh sorry one terra steel technically when those four are full, I'll be able to make all four in one go. So, Terra, oh no, Spark. Okay, so let's grab that and let's go right here. So what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, we need two episodes for Batania. And obviously, we're going to need some uh, Gaia Spirit. And the way you get Gaia Spirit... So the way you get Gaia Spirit spirit is by killing the Gaia boss okay I don't know how many it drops each time but it's going if I look at this extended crafting we're going to need one two three four five six seven eight Gaia spirit but we're going to need four Gaia spirit ingot 
and those require four each. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I'm going to go in a time lapse and in my time lapse, I'm going to build, uh, I'm just going to make, like go over there and make a fighting arena so that I can fight the Gaia spirit away from my base so I don't destroy everything on my base. And in the next episode, we're going to start and I'm going to um, make my four terra steel because at that point I should have enough mana pool. So I'm going to make my four terra steel and make my seed. And maybe in my time lapse, I'm also going to fill some mana tablets so that I can also open an elven gateway. And then we're going to defeat the Gaia Spirit a couple of times. And we're going to just finish the Batania quest line. And we're going to get the everlasting, uh, the everlasting guilty pool, which means we'll have infinite man mana. But at this point, I'm not going to care about mana anymore. Uh, what are those diluted? Diluted are just slabs. Perfect. And what's the last one? So these are fabulous. Fabulous are made with Bifrost block and mana pool. Oh, so we're going to need to make a rod of the Bifrost. Okay, so that's the portal. We're going to need the portal for the Elementium anyway, but for the Pixie Dust and the Dragon Stone. So... I guess I'm going to start the episode by making the Elven Portal and making all of that so that we can complete what we're doing. Also in my time lapse, I'm just going to be spamming a little bit of these Living Rock and Living Wood because we're going. if I come back here and I look at this, we're going to need... Oh, misclick, sorry. We're going to need one, two, three, one... Oh, wait, this, I hate calculating this. One... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 like this. The diluted is going to be with slabs. Uh, perfect. So we're going to need how many of those? We're going... Oh, we're going to need 20, 21, 20, uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 28, 32. We're going to need 36 mana pool. And 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 diluted mana pool. Uh, so I'm going to need a lot of living rock, not a lot of living wood. So I'm going to be preparing that in my time lapse. I'm just going to also, like, first I'm going to make the mana set up because the mana is going, like, I'm, I need to produce more mana. This is what's taking all my time. And then I'm going to be... Um, just preparing for the next episode so that we can, in the next episode, make the portal, make the elementium seed, make the terrestrial seed, uh, make everything that we need for the gateway, and fight as many bosses as we need and get rid of Batania. Because honestly, if I could not do Batania for the next 5 mod pack, I'd be happy. I should have expected it because it was a magic mod pack. I just... For whatever reason, I thought it was going to be so cheatable. That's why I did it so late. I thought I was just going to be able to make this and just like spam the production of... Wait a moment. Mana Flux Field. Mana Star. I think the Mana Star... The Tanya Mana Star... No, that's not it. Um, this mana flux field, there's a way, I think, to make mana. Mana RF. Okay. At Botania RF. Nope. So I just had an idea. I, I wonder, there is a block that can transfer RF into mana, or is it a flower? Okay, so Botania mana from RF. So there is something for that. Okay, so again, it's the same thing where they say that, yes, it does exist, but 
it costs so much RF that it will, like, it's never been something that's been balanced. You need gajillions of RF to be able to do that. <sighs> okay, so I'm just going to have to spam the creation of Endoflame and just make sure that we get it that way. See, we, I, you know what? I think we have enough to make one Terra Steel now. I'm I'm going to p probably regret this, but let's try it. I don't know what I did with my Ender Pearl, so uh, Mana Pearl, and I need Mana Diamonds, so Diamond. I need two more. I hope I won't regret this. Let's try. So, one, two, three. And now it's using my mana pools. But I think I had a... F yes! One, two, three. So it was not a full mana pool. I guess I just got unlucky with the last one. Okay, so I was able to make two. But with the states of my mana pool right now, I won't be able to make two more. So like I said, I'm going to just prepare for the Elven Portal. I'm just going to add the second layer here with some Mana Spreader Ire so that it can redirect in to this with some lens and hopefully build a platform so that when we come back in the next episode, it's going to be Batania 2, but it's also going to be Batania Final. And in the next episode, when we build, uh, when we beat the Gaia, we're just going to do like... Uh, a time lapse because the, those fights are so long and noisy. Okay, so guys, that's the plan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.